Now let's go to the third part of the lesson. I click on this back arrow again and go to the previous page of the website. Now let's start a new project. Click on new project and name this project as project 14C. Click on the create button here. Now you have entered the project. Now we are going to create the crashy bird game. First, let's create the necessary variables for this. I click variables and click make a variable button. Let's give the name of this variable as bird and click the OK button. For the next variable, click the make a variable button again and give the name of this variable as cap. Now let's click the OK button. Again, click the make a variable button and give the name of this variable as obstacles and click the OK button. OK. Now let's create the code. First, we need to create the bird sprite. Drag a set obstacle to code block under on start code block variables. Click on the arrow in front of obstacles and select bird. Now here, a create sprite at code block under game is connected. Let's give the X position as 0 and the Y position as 2. OK. Now at the position 0, 2, the bird sprite is created. I think it would be better if the sprite was blinked. For that, a sprite set x2 code block under game is dragged here. Click on the arrow in front of the sprite and select bird. And instead of x, blink is selected. Here, 300 is given for the value. Next, you need to move the bird sprite up and down when the button A and button B is pressed. First, let's create the code to move the sprite up when button A is pressed. I am dragging an on button A pressed code block here under input. When button A is pressed, the bird sprite needs to move up, so let's decrease the Y position by 1. Here I drag a sprite change X by 1 code block under the game. Bird is selected for the sprite. Click on the arrow in front of X and select Y. Minus 1 is given here. In this way, when button B is pressed, the sprite needs to move down. For that, let's try and duplicate the code block and change the necessary places. I right click on the on button A pressed code block and duplicate it. Now, let's select button B instead of button A in the duplicated code block. And since the bird sprite is moving down, Y needs to increase by 1. I will change the value here. OK. Next is to create obstacles. It is necessary to light 4 LEDs in a vertical row of LEDs as obstacles. One of the 5 LEDs in the row is not lit. Select the unlit LED and use the gap variable. I drag a set obstacle to code block under variables into this forever code block. Click on the arrow in front of obstacles and select gap. Here, drag a pick random code block under map. For numbers, give 0 and 4. Next, create a row of blinking LEDs for this. For this, let's use a for loop. I drag the for do code block under loops below the set gap code block. Since there are 5 LEDs, let's change the value of the index variable from 0 to 4. Now, drag an if code block under logic into this for loop. For the condition, drag a code block with the equal sign under logic. Click on the arrow in front of the equal sign and select the unequal sign. Drag an index code block connected to the for do code block to the left side of this unequal sign like this. Also, on the right side, a gap code block is connected under variables. Let's drag a list add value to end code block under arrays into this if code block. Click on the arrow in front of the list and select obstacles. Here, let's link a create sprite add code block under game. Given 4 for x, an index code block connected to the for do code block for y is dragged in this way. Now look at this part. First, for the gap variable, a random value between 0 and 4 is obtained. Next, in the for loop, a random value between 0 and 4 is obtained for the index variable. Next, check whether the value of the index variable is unequal to the value of the gap variable. If unequal, obstacles are created where the x position is 4 and the y position is equal to the value of the index variable. The row of obstacles is created by repeating the for loop. Obstacles are not created where the value of the gap variable is related. Now I drag a post code block under basics away from this for do code block. 
let's change the time here to 3000 milliseconds. Okay, next this created a line of obstacle needs to move back and forth. For that, again let's drag a forever code block under basics here. Now drag a pause code block in basics into this forever code block and change the time to 1000 milliseconds. Next, a four element do code block in the loops is dragged here. Right click on value and select rename variable. Type obstacles here and click OK. Now you can see that in the code block. Instead of value, obstacle has been found. Next, click on the arrow in front of the list and select obstacles. Since the row of obstacle needs to move to the left, the X position needs to decrease. For this, a sprite change X by code block under game is dragged into the four element do code block. Click on the arrow in front of sprite and select obstacle. Also, minus one is given here. Okay, now the bird sprite is created and the row of obstacles were created. When the row of obstacle moves towards the bird, it is necessary to move so that the bird does not collide with the obstacles. If the bird collides with the obstacles, the game ends. For this, as before, drag a 4 element 2 code block in the loops here. Right click on value and select rename variable. Type obstacles here and click OK. Obstacles are selected instead of list. Drag an if code block under logic into the four element do code block. For the condition here, let's connect an and code block in the logic. Drag a code block with the equal sign under logic to the left side of the and sign. Drag sprites in the game to the left of the equal sign. Here instead of sprite, obstacles is given. Here in the same way, let's drag a sprite.x code block in games to the right side with the equal sign. Let's select bird instead of sprite here. Drag a code block with the equal sign under logic to the right side again from the and sign. Drag a sprite.x code block in the games to the left side of this equal sign. Click on the arrow in front of x and select y. Here instead of sprite, obstacles is given. In the same way, let's drag a sprite.x code block in games to the right side of the equal sign. Here too, y is given instead of x. Also, let's select bird instead of sprite. Okay. Now look at this condition. It checks whether the X position of the obstacle is the same as the X position of the bird sprite and the Y position of the obstacle is same as the Y position of the bird sprite. If equal, the bird sprite will collide with the obstacle. This is why the game ends. For that, let's drag a game over code block under game into this if code block. Okay, now we have almost finished creating the game. I think it would be better if a little change was made. Currently, the obstacle row can be empty anywhere, but I think it would be easier to play the game if there was an empty place Place in the middle instead of the top and bottom of the row of obstacles. For that, a while do code block under loops is dragged down from the four element do code block. Here, for the condition, an and code block is connected under logic. Let's connect the code block with the equal sign under logic to the left side of the and sign. Click on the arrow in front of the equal sign and select the larger than sign here. Drag a length of array list code block under arrays to the left of the larger than sign. Click on the arrow in front of the list and select obstacles. Give zero to the right side of the larger than sign. Next, drag a code block with the equal sign under logic to the right side of this and sign. Let's connect a sprite x code block under the game to the left side of this equal sign. Instead of sprite, I am attaching a get value code block here under arrays. Now the sprite code code block that was here was automatically removed. I right click on this and give delete blocks. Now click on the arrow in front of the list and select obstacles. Let's give zero to the right side of the equal sign. I drag a delete sprite code block under game into this while do code block. Instead of a sprite, I connect here a get and remove value at code block under arrays. Now the sprite code block that was here was automatically removed. I right click on this and give delete blocks. Now click on the arrow in front of the list and select obstacles. Ok, now let's click the play button and play the game. You can also run this project through a micro bit device and play the game. If you made it in this way, you little ones are very successful. If you want to share this project, 
click the second share button on the upper right side of the interface and click on the publish to share button here. Now you can copy this link and share it. To see the creation you have made, WhatsApp it to the number note 7681252444. Tell your friends also about the creation. Send it to me and also send it to your friends to see this app. And one more thing. You too can join the DP Coding School Telegram group and try to be the DP Code Champ Best of the Week once every week. For that, keep in touch with us. And one more thing, join our DP Coding Club. And now, you can start a DP Coding Club in your school as well. We are ready to give you all the guidance for that. If you want to start a DP Coding Club in any school where a computer lab is available, make a request through the principal to the email address info at dpcc.lk. Let's meet with another interesting lesson through DP Coding School. Have a nice day.